Okay, it's now all done. JS10, going up and around to Q16 center. And over here we got the diode one bottom going to diode two right side. And that is it, all the jumpers are correct. And that should be it. The board should now be able to run the EDI system and going off of the pin uh, 36 and 24 for the saw and PIP pin coming in. It is easy as that. A couple of notes on soldering, of course. Um, these two terminals are really close together. So even if my shaky hands has been able to get solder without breaching, you do not want solder closing the gap on these two. That will short them. So make sure when you're soldering, there is a gap there and no solder connecting the two. Um, Q16 center was a piece of cake. Uh, this took a little bit of effort getting these two in, but overall it took me like five minutes with a little bit of trial and error. Um, it would have been a lot faster if someone could hold the wire while I hold, while I hold the solder and the iron. Um, you need actually three hands to do this, but you can do it with two because I got mine done. So, but anyway, that's it. Good luck, and I'll let you know if this works out.